All right. Um, it was great to see the fans again here at Arrowhead. They, they were nice and loud and showed up for a preseason game, which is always good for the guys. Um, so there were some good things early. Um, and then periodically as it went on, we've, uh, we've got to make sure we do a little better job blocking and tackling both sides of the ball on uh, with the twos and the threes. Um, but it was uh, good to see Worthy get started. Rice had a nice day. Um, Prince jumped in there, running back, had, had some nice snaps. Uh, defensively, uh, Hicks, a uh, good young player for us, made some nice plays. George had a good game, and then uh, Keith Trailer came up with our Taylor came up with a, a big uh, interception. And then on special teams, both the kicker and the punter did a, did a good job and had some good snaps there, along with Cam Jones on his tackling, and and then Sky and Nico had some good returns. So there were there were some good things in there. Um, it was great to get. Uh, some of these guys, some some reps that we're looking at, will be good for Brett and the personnel staff to to see and evaluate. And so, uh, with that, time's yours. Any a couple things about Xavier Worthy first? Just how important did you feel like it was to, to get him? Some? Yeah, we had a couple different things in there to try to get him the ball and just to get him started. Last last week he didn't he didn't have a chance there. So um, yeah, I mean we tried to get it to him. Yeah. And then the the play after he makes. Yeah, sure. No, that's uh, that's an important part of it. And you know, when Hollywood gets back in there, there'll be another addition to it. McColl's doing some good things there too. So, you know, having that having that helps. But Xavier's speed to be able to get through and make people honor him. To sometimes two people honor him. So that's a big thing. Andy, the other day, Patrick mentioned that you've been kind of pushing him to do the behind the back pass, and I wonder what it was like to see it become a reality today. Yeah, I'm glad he completed it. Yeah, that was a good thing. He said he's supposed to test it if he ever does it. Yeah, I know. I, I heard he blamed it on Kelsey, but that's all right. Hey, he's, he does it in practice every day, so I'm all right as long as it's completion. Does it show a little dimension of, you know, something, a little bit of a new frontier, the, things, the range of things he might, he might do that other people have to look out for? Sure. I mean, that's good. I mean, I, yeah, I, I think it's... Listen, they do it in basketball every, every, you know, every game. So several times in every game. So I mean, what? It's not that big of a deal. Behind the back, Vahe. Huh? Research through the years, have you uh, seen it done in a game? I don't think I have, but I see it every day in practice. So, so what happens if it, something goes wrong? It's picked or incomplete or whatever. We're gonna think positive, Adam. <laughs> Was that the original? No, I know. He threw Kelsey under the bus. I know. He said it was Kelsey's fault. I, I heard all that. It wasn't. They were. They play off of each other. Coach, uh, you mentioned uh, Derek Prince is one of these guys who is going to make the roster. How have you seen him make strides and uh, kind of pay off over the future? Yeah, we had the nice run there, uh, which I I thought was was good. I mean, that was a that was a positive, and he, he got enough carries today where you can go back and evaluate him, and we'll look at it and and see. But it was good to see him. Put some back to back to back downs together. Yeah. Now you're going to want to see the film on Kingsley, but just the first glance at him, what do you think of just? The yeah, I think he did all right. It looked like Pat had time. I mean, I'll go back and look at it, but it didn't jump out that there was a problem there. So I, I think that's a plus. Yeah. And with, with Carson Steele, I mean, he gets involved in special teams in a couple different ways, which is the importance of him having to be involved in special teams. Yeah, yeah, he got a lot of good snaps too. I, I probably should have mentioned him because he ran hard and um, and then he was out on most of the special teams in that first half. So he, um, you know, he's doing well. He's growing, and that's what we wanted to see. We wanted to see him get in there with the ones and see what he could do. Andy, when it comes to depth with the offense and defensive lines, how would you assess that? Just not there? Yeah, we need to do better with the young guys. They've got to they've got to do a better job there. So we'll, we'll go back and work on that. Um, wh whether it's a run game or uh, the pass game, I mean, there were some good. Listen, there were some good snaps in there, but we can do better, blocking, tackling, shedding, all those things. Um, and it's both sides, both sides of the ball.